Oh, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel. What are we going to do about you? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennison. Today, guys, I'm going to take a, a couple minutes here to talk about my reaction to Jimmy Kimmel bashing YouTube gaming. I know a lot of YouTubers and other people in the gaming community have already gone out and shared their two cents on the topic. But I figured, you know, I've got old parents just like Jimmy Kimmel uh, who really don't understand uh, what YouTube gaming is and why it would be entertaining for someone to watch. You know, I, I think my parents personally, I think they understand why YouTube gaming would be entertaining for some people, but they don't understand how it could be entertaining for them. And that's fine. So my, I think my parents are one step ahead of Jimmy Kimmel in that sense. But what I really want to explain here in this video is how YouTube gaming could be fun for someone to watch. So I'm gonna use some analogies, do some comparisons, and if Jimmy Kimmel ends up watching this video, shout out to you, man. Thanks for checking out my channel. Be sure to drop a sub, like, follow me on Twitter, stuff like that. All right, so anyways, so I'm gonna jump right into this. A lot of people compare watching someone play video games to watching someone play a sport. So a lot of people will say, hey, why watch someone play video games when you can just go and watch someone play football? And that makes a lot of sense, right? You know, why would I enjoy watching someone play football on TV when I could just go out and play football with myself. Wouldn't that be so much more entertaining? And you're absolutely right. For some people, that's way more enjoyable. For me, I, I stink at football, so it would not be entertaining for me to be out there playing football because I'd be too self-conscious about how stupid I look. But for a lot of people, that would be really enjoyable to go out and play football, and I totally understand that. But I think when people look at YouTube gaming and they try to compare it to watching a sport, you know, watching someone play a video game, comparing it to watching someone play a sport, I think people look at it the wrong way when they do that. I think what people really have to understand is it's what the viewer gets out of the video that makes YouTube gaming so enjoyable for millions of people to watch. I think what a lot of people really have to understand is there's different categories for YouTube gaming and there's different types of entertainment in the YouTube gaming category. The first one I'm on the cover is competitive gameplay. Obviously, if my entire family and I were to go outside and play football right now and we were to broadcast it on Twitch, which would be against Twitch's terms of service, but anyways, if we were to go and do that, you guys would not enjoy watching that. That wouldn't be fun for you guys to watch, but if if we threw out, you know, the New England Patriots out in my backyard and had them play football, that'd be entertaining to watch because they are good at football. They're good at what they do. So I guess I can really compare that to YouTube gaming in a sense that it'd be fun to watch someone else who's really good at something. It's fun to watch professional players play a game, whether you're a fan of Call of Duty, League of Legends, Dota, StarCraft, CSGO, any of those highly competitive video games. It's fun to watch someone else be good at those. You know, you feel the same tension that you get when you watch sports, you know, two rival teams, you feel the energy, you know, you get excited. And then it's also really cool because it's something that you can play in the comfort of your own home. You know, anyone can play it. You just download it for free. And that's, that's I think, what attracts a lot of people to it. So I think that's really one of the things that captures the essence of YouTube gaming it's fun to watch other people be competitive and be really good at the game. The other part that I want to touch on is the entertainment factor. Obviously, if I were to only put out YouTube videos where it was just strictly the gameplay, just strictly me playing the game, no songs in the background, just the gameplay, that would not be fun to watch. And I can guarantee you I would not have as many subscribers as I do now. And that's simply because that's not entertaining to watch. But if you provide an entertainment factor over that, you share a story, act funny, or, you know, be goofy in the video, that's adding the entertainment factor. That's the underlying entertainment substance in that video that makes it more fun to watch. You know, it's so much more enjoyable to go and watch Vanoss' videos because his reactions to him playing the game are funny. You know, the funny trolling reactions that he gets, uh, all the funny cool trick shots that he does. You know, that's just cool. That's fun to watch. The last portion of YouTube gaming that I really want to touch on is the fun factor. Now, this may sound similar to entertaining, but it's kind of, it's slightly different, and let me explain why. Having a funny video isn't only fun because you can be entertained along with the person who made the video, but it's also fun to watch someone else have fun. It's, it's sort of a psychological thing, you know, people like to sit back and watch someone else have fun. You know, that energy that you feel watching someone else having a good time, that's, that's good. People like that. People enjoy watching other people have fun and that you know it just puts you in a good mood compare it almost to who you hang out with at school or who you like to hang out with in your life you always want to hang around the people that have a good attitude and always have a positive outlook on things because they put you in a good mood it's fun to hang out with those people who always have a positive outlook on like you know those optimists in your life that always have a smile on their face that always say hello to you that always have good energy around them it's very similar to that you know people like to watch other people have fun it, it feels good to be surrounded by people who have positive energy especially when it's over a game that you enjoy playing or if they make you laugh or make you you know have a funny feeling or make you feel emotions having fun while you're watching a video is such an important factor of what makes YouTube gaming so enjoyable you know and it's not just the fun factor too you can also add in if it makes you think if you you know if you're a deep thinker if, if someone puts out a controversial topic in one of the videos that forces you to think about something that's entertaining to watch some people like to think deeply about things like that so it really kind of depends on the viewer those are the three main categories that I really came up with if you guys have any suggestions on other categories for the YouTube gaming viewer you know what makes YouTube gaming 
gaming fun and what makes watching gaming videos entertaining for people, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be curious to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like. It really does help support the channel. Be sure to subscribe as well. I love bringing you guys content over here on my channel. It's going to be mostly Call of Duty for the next couple days, but I do want to branch out and bring you guys some other entertaining games as well. But guys, that is all. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.